Come here, son. Nephew. Young man. Let me holler at you. If you are a person who is timid, shy, eh, that may not even be the right choice of words. How about this? Here's how I look at life in general. I don't like the phrase, I can't. I avoid saying what I can't do as much as possible. Death is in the life. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. I'm pretty sure you've you've heard that cliche, but it's true. You talk about a person enough, that person's just gonna pop up out of nowhere. So naturally, not naturally, but supernaturally, actually. But if you, whatever you concentrate your thoughts and your vocal patterns on, some form of it will manifest in your life. And I'm not going to go into the spiritual aspect of it today one day i will but just not today so with that being said i don't like to say what i can't do and i don't like to think about what i can't do what i like to tell myself is how can i i believe that every problem has a solution even if in finding that solution you find that, okay, I have to solve this problem another day or with another method, or I have to create a, a short-term financial plan to attack it, or I need other personnel to deal with that plan. The fact still remains, all problems have a solution. But if you tell yourself you can't, you can't solve your problem, can't improve you can't get better well i mean you're right you can't if that's your mindset mindset is a big underlying factor on this channel people underestimate the power of a good or bad mindset like i said in a few videos back you can probably find it by title on youtube or tiktok can't beat a man who won't quit. You you can win a battle against him, but you can't win the war because it, it, it's a never-ending thing. It's perpetual with him. One way or the other, he's going to find out how can I win, and he's going to apply that information. And although that man's record may be 0-100, the way he wins that time he does, it may be definitive. Because you learn more in a loss than you do in a win. But you're not going to keep coming back from losses if after you take one loss in one battle, you determine, okay, I can't win, I quit, I go home. If you take that loss in that battle and say, how can I win next time? You'll find it eventually. Now, you might also choose in finding your how can I. You may realize, okay, I can win, but it's too costly. I have something to lose, so it's not worth winning. Sometimes you realize, wait a minute, I didn't actually lose. It looks like that to the common man, the non-thinking man, or a person who doesn't understand a situation. And at that point, you better swallow your pride and realize, okay, I don't need recognition. That's actually a good topic for another video, so I'm not going to dwell on that too long. You need what actually matters. You don't need, you don't always need to be perceived a certain way. That's a deep topic. Now that I'm thinking about it in my head, I need to hold on to it in the back of my mind while I'm talking to you all. And as a matter of fact, I need to go ahead and cut this video short because I do believe you get the picture not I can't how can I that will help you in overcoming sales that will help you in overcoming manpower issues finances relationships family relationships your job 
I could go on and on and on. Please like the content. The like button costs you nothing and it only takes a moment of your time. I am also okay with you hitting the dislike button. Share the videos. I guarantee you somebody out there needs a how can I instead of an I can't mindset. And as always, never lose the will to win. Never lose the will to survive.